killer tips to make sure you buy the best used motorcycle out there. And just like that, <laughs> everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got a great episode for you. It is the winner. It is the best time to find a used motorcycle. I'm about to get you all the way right to find you the right bike. So let's dive right in the best ways to find you a great used motorcycle. Number one, you have to do your research. And what I mean by that, fellas, is you have to make yourself familiar with the company who makes the bike. For example, Harley Davidson, you have to make yourself aware of that model that you are going to buy. Look back on the history of that model year. What were the problems with that bike? Also, you want to make sure that there are going to be parts available if you do need it. You don't want to buy a 1985 Sportster and you can't get any parts for it, all right? You shouldn't be buying a Sportster 1985 anyway. So I got to piggyback on do your research. And I want to stress to you, this is the number one thing you can do. Let me share a quick story real quick. I was going to purchase a 2015 as advertised Street Glide. Upon reviewing the title, I saw that it was a 2012 Street Glide. I am not saying that people are out to get you, but I'm saying do your research. Grab that VIN number, guys. You can see if it was a rebuilt title. You can see if it was a salvage title. Better yet, you can see if anything has been altered, especially that odometer. All right, yes, sir. Let's get into number two, which is the physical inspection of the bike. Before we go any further, if you don't listen to anything I say in this entire video, listen to this. Number one rule you should never do, never fall in love with a bike with just the pictures only. Don't let your mind play tricks on you guys. Physically inspect that bike first. Once the bike checks out, then you guys can have a love fest. And so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to ask for that title. You're gonna check everything out, make sure the VIN looks good. You're gonna make sure the bike is what it is, color, everything is all there on the title. Then we're gonna go into the aspect of checking the bike out. So got a little break in between the video. Hope you guys are liking it. If you are, please like, share, and subscribe, man. Appreciate that. Hit that notification bell too. Uh, got a quick question for you real quick. Guys, there are two types of bikes out there. You're gonna find stock bikes for sale, and then you're gonna find totally customized bikes. Which one would you take? Would you take the totally customized bike, which has been touched all over, or would you take the stock bike and do all the work yourself? So everything's all set, matches up really good. So now it's time to do the actual physical inspection of the bike. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna check and look for any physical damage that we can find that wasn't reported by the seller. Now, we've done that check. The next thing we're gonna do, we're still all good to go. We are going to run our hands down the frame of the bike all the way around to make sure that the frame is in great condition. Yes, sir, I am ready to get a test ride in on the bike, but guess what? The new trend right now is they aren't letting you test ride the bike at least you leave a little bit of a cash deposit down. I totally get it because I'm a seller also, but guys, you definitely wanna work that out with the seller. So everything is checking out so far. Now we are going to start the bike up and we're gonna run that for two to three good minutes. We're gonna give it some good RPMs. Guys, hit that thing hard. What we're trying to accomplish by doing this is we're gonna heat that engine up, especially that engine oil, and get everything running and get that engine nice and hot so that we can see when we shut it off. We will see all of the engine leaks, transmission leaks, and anything that is not reported by the seller, we will be able to see. Now, fellas, we can also check that exhaust right here and run our hands around the exhaust right over, especially where the headers attach to make sure there are no exhaust leaks. So we are all ready for the test ride. Let me show you how to get everything all prepped before you hit the road on somebody else's bike. Let's get familiar real quick. So guys, we're gonna jump on that bike that we're gonna test ride. We're gonna go ahead and start her up. 
all right? So what's really important is you need to familiarize yourself with neutral. So what we're gonna do is we're going to kick it into first gear. We're gonna pull forward. We're gonna back it up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and find neutral. Found neutral with no problem. We're getting a little bit familiar with the bike before we take it out on the road. We're gonna do one more time. First gear, take the bike up, take it back, set it back in neutral, and now you are ready to rock and roll and take this bike out. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, man, I'm about to get out on the road, and we're going to do a makeshift test ride that I would want you guys to do if you are going to purchase a motorcycle a used one that is so we want to make sure you make the right choice so i'm going to jump on the mean machine aka the road star warrior and you guys see the fresh red kicks right there oh my god going down so let me jump on the road real quick it is freezing out here but it is all good i got mad love for my viewers gonna always try to give you the best content out here hey. Get a cold start. Oh yeah. She sounded so good. We are on a used motorcycle that we are potentially thinking about buying. So I'm gonna get out here. I'm gonna go ahead and run through the gears with the shift and the clutch, the gear and shift clutch. And we're gonna see how this thing runs nice and smooth. driving this potential used bike that we are loving so far it's been through all the checks so now i'm gonna shift through all the gears and make sure everything is synced up transmission is rolling uh, one of the things really want you guys to check and then check those brakes do a brake check remember do them evenly we don't just grab that front brake we grab both at the same time do a nice even brake check you pay attention to the suspension both the front and the back I'm gonna make a tight turn right here and just check out how the bike accelerates out of a stop these are all things you want to check guys make sure you check that odometer and make sure you check the readings in there everything looks good you cut that blinker off and do your checks now this is one thing I want you guys to definitely do uh, for me when you take the bike out for a ride i want you to pull it over and oh my god i see he does not the dog is not liking me too much right now okay all right so fellas like i said i want you to take the bike over to the side when you take it from uh the the buy the seller and i want you to really examine the bike go through it with a fine tooth comb you can really get deep down in there now that the the uh seller's not on your back while you were looking at the bike. So really pull over, get a great look at the bike. Woo, that sound is so good. And really check it out. Make sure the bike is what you want. Don't think with emotion, fellas. Think with logic. Don't fall, and that's why I said don't fall in love with a bike. Uh, let that bike earn your respect. You are spending your hard earned money. Let that bike earn your respect. So make sure you go through your checks and make sure you are absolutely loving the bike. 
before you purchase it. Yes, sir. And just gonna do a quick hit it. Switch gear, hit it again. Make sure everything is hitting on all cylinders. And then you're gonna head back to the seller's house. And you are gonna be ready to rock and roll. I hope you find this really, really helpful to you out there. Guys, really appreciate you stopping by the channel. We're gonna finish the video up. So I'll see you in just a minute. Let's get money. So everything is going amazing. You just got back from your ride. The bike rides like money. So you are ready to close the deal. One thing before we do that, let's take some things into consideration. If the bike is customized and heavily accessorized with things like lighting options and all sorts of things like that, you have to take into consideration that a lot of bikers do jobs on their own. And if this was not wired properly, you can run into problems down the road and it can cost you a lot of money. So make sure you guys pop the seat on those bikes, look at that battery, look at the connections, and try to check, uh, get a good look at that wiring to make sure it looks really, really good. It'll save you some money in the end. It is showtime and you are ready to purchase your badass motorcycle. What I suggest to you is to grab a cashier's check and you should have already had it with you on the way to see the bike. Guys, if you have to use cash, make sure you give them the cash in a public place, which could be a bank, it could be a parking lot, it could be anywhere where there are a lot of people at, never do it at the seller's residence, all right? I hope you guys found this very, very helpful. I am always trying to help the riders be the best and always have the best success. So until next time, keep those two wheels down. Yeah.